Hey everyone, I'm going to go over quickly again and more clearly this time how to take images on your device, uh, how to access those images on your HoloLens 2 and then how to send them to your secondary device uh, if you have a Microsoft product or if you don't have a Microsoft product like a MacBook. So first thing you want to do is take a picture. So you can uh, one, either say uh, the, the action, say take a picture and your device will have words laid out saying taking a photo or taking a picture and then after the picture is taken it'll show you a preview of the image if it doesn't show you that preview go ahead and retake that photo let's say your voice commands aren't working um, then you would select this camera icon right here and then you would aim and you would air tap to take an image and it would also give you a preview of that in my case since I'm taking a recording right now that camera um, for picture taking is disabled. So let's say I just took a picture, it showed me the preview, and now I want to see where that picture is at. So I would tap my wrist, um, I would go to the Photos app, and this is where all of your uh, all of your pictures and videos are stored for uh, for later viewing. So let's see. Okay. So now you can see that we have uh, a selection of all of the videos I've taken in the past. Um, you have this Albums tab if you want to organize them. Uh, but let's say I want to send some. I want to send these two images to um, my secondary device. So here I can either hold it and it'll give me uh, an op options, or if I want to select multiple uh, images, I will hit that select button and I can always delete them, make a copy. But in this case, I want to share them. So now that I've selected these two pictures, I'm going to hit that share button and it's going to either allow me to uh, share using Microsoft's nearby share option, or I can email them to myself. Uh, for those who do have a Microsoft product, you're going to first go on to your Microsoft product and you're, uh, you're going to go to the settings or you can just type out nearby share settings. Make sure it's on. So in my case it's on and then I'll go to my Hall Lens 2 and then I'll select the name of my laptop. So for my case this is the name of my laptop B2C ORQ2. Um, you're going to click it until it's saying sharing to b to your laptop's name then you're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna see that your laptop is also um, receiving those you're gonna hit save or decline depending on on what you want to do with those photos I'm gonna save them uh, so that I'm making sure it's it's going to me then once they're received you'll open a folder and it's it'll be on your downloads folder where you could open it uh, save them into a different folder and view them at any time so now uh, I've officially or finally set Send my set, set myself uh, images from my Holland suit. So that's how you do it. Um, now let's say you don't have a Microsoft product. Um, you're gonna you wanna take you wanna share images from your Holland suit to your MacBook. Um, nearby share is only for Microsoft products. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you're signed into your CHSU account um, on your Holland suit settings. So Holland suit. Uh, I tapped on my wrist, selected the settings app. I'm going to accounts and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go, go ahead and go to my email and accounts and I'm going to add my account. See that I've added my account already. It's at my CHSU email. So uh, if to add an account, you want to go to, to Office 365 and you're going to type out your account email. This could be quite tedious. Well, the most important thing about this is that you're typing out at chsu.edu because that will take you to your institution's portal. Here we go. And now once that loads, you'll see that it'll kind of have that CHSU portal pop up. See? So my account's already set up, so it will it will not let me do that anymore. Um, but now you'll see that it's it's right there. It's already saved. So now once I have my email or my CHSU account on my device's settings. I'm going to go back to photos just like we did uh, the previous um, time and we're going, to, we're going to select the images that we want to send. So I want to send this image right here. I want to send this image right here and then I'm going to share and then since we don't have nearby share we're, I'm going to either go to apps in store and download OneDrive or I'll just email it to myself. So I'll go to mail um, since I'm already signed into my email, it'll just go ahead and kind of set that email format for me. And then I'll just send it to myself. So I'll type out 
my email again and there it is and then I can write something if I wish or I can uh, maybe uh, give it a subject cardiovascular pulmonary uh, maybe lecture 15 right so I know it's these images correlate to that lecture and then I'll send it and it'll say sending mail and then you'll most likely get a notification on your secondary uh, device and that's how you send images if you don't have a Microsoft uh, secondary product.